Hey, what's up, guys? <clears throat> um, apologies for taking long. Um, I was filming a bunch of other stuff and a lot of my work, and I don't know what the hell I had done wrong, but it, it's hard to tell when when this uh, camera is recording or not. And sometimes it'll just stop for some reason because, like, I run out of room and shit. So it's been a real big hassle. This is like my fucking ninth try trying to get a decent video together. Um, I did go back and fix the 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 what is it P twenty nine or ninety two. <coughs> um, last time the chamber was too deep and the 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 slide wouldn't pick up the round. <laughs> um, so I went ahead and heated everything up, tapped it back, or I had pulled it out, and got more JB Weld, and then put it back into place. Um, I know in the comments, somebody had said to fill it up with JB Weld and make another chamber. Um, that's not a good idea, and I'll explain why. Um, if you're, you know, because mine was too deep, so if I'm doing JB Weld to make it come out, then that means my that that little section of chamber is going to be made purely of JB Weld, and um, JB Weld is strong, but once it starts getting hot, it starts to weaken, and I would imagine if the rounds going on, I would imagine that would only work once, because then you have your bullet squeezing through that JB Weld opening too. Um, yeah, that, that that wouldn't work. Or I, I'm, I feel it wouldn't work. Um, so this one, yeah, I pushed it back. So now we can grab. That's a good one. Get a spent shell. Push grab, there we go. Spatials get stuck sometimes. But, um, yeah, this one's looking good. The barrel isn't as spectacular as the other one was, but, uh, it, it'll work. It's not rifled either. So, yeah, this one's looking great. Um, I'm not gonna be able to assemble, I'm not gonna have time to assemble it tonight. I'm exhausted. Uh, I'm doing some, I'm doing kind of a little project slash surprise with the 906. Um, so just be patient on that one. Um, I'll give you guys a little teaser. I did, if you guys remember from my other videos, I had a viewer that, um, sent me, or paid, gave me money so I can buy an Echo Jackal and, um, help him out with a project and keep it, keep it afterwards for myself. And seeing my history on converting the blank guns, uh, I've never been able to successfully do a front uh, front venting type because of that rod. And between a combination of my new machine and kind of like, I guess you could say I made the tool, um, I was able to get it out of the jackal like butter. So, oh, so this one, remember this was uh, the front venting jackal completely clear it's, it's <laughs> I haven't even like none of my shits ever looked this good before but so this one's gonna be an awesome project like I said I got my little secret now for the front venting and I might hoard it for a little while we'll see <laughs> um what else yeah so this one's gonna get definitely assembled and like I said just wait a little bit longer for the for the uh, 906 that was where you can get a, you guys will see, I'll put over the jackal frame. So it's actually looking really good. Oh, what else do I got for you guys? Uh, I guess that's it for now. Uh, yeah, so I'll keep going on these. This one will be done. I mean, this one I can pretty much consider it done already. I just need to reassemble. Um, I'll probably do a jack on next because, like I said, I'm doing a special little project for the 906. It's definitely something you guys haven't seen before. And 
Yeah, so here I mentioned how you can ways of getting through um getting through the uh, the rod and get, how to get through that rod with the front venting. And uh a lot of people were suggesting the diamond hole saws. I was gonna try a three eighths because I figured that would be smarter instead of going smaller, but um I mean, this will technically work. It'll just fucking take forever. And it was pretty amazing how fast I was able to get that shit out. I think... I think it might have caught on film. I'm not sure. But I'm going to go back through all the footage on the camera and see what I did and didn't get. And if anything, I'll fucking post the jumble, fucking... All those videos up just so you guys can check it out. Um, but for now... Uh, that's it. This one will finish. Um, so, let's see, how's everybody doing? Um, in the comments, let me know, let me know what part of the world you're from. Post your country and, um, I don't know, the main spoken language so I can get some culture in me. <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm out. Take it easy.